All right, we're back. Only missing cam cover. Old SNS style. Takes the ugly ass chrome cover over this. So, I guess do the same thing, scrape the gaskets off a little bit. The residue. So, we're not supposed to be rebuilding anything here, we're supposed to be reassembling the motor. But I can't let anything go by this wrong. I gotta fix it, so. If you see anything blatantly screwed up with it, you fix it. Okay. They put the seal in here recently. This one here has a double lip on it. I've got an outer lip and an inner lip. This one here only seems to have the uh, inner lip, not much on the outer lip. So we're going to upgrade this one, even though it feels all right, we're going to put a new one on there. The upgraded version. So this little piece of plastic crap here goes in here. That's supposed to keep the oil from sloshing around so bad. Blowing out your breather hole over here. Where's our cam at? Here's our cam. Cam feels all right. The seal does work. See how this cams up a little bit? Got to push it through, see? So as it goes through the seal, see the seal is working. So I don't think the seal's that old. But this is the upgraded seal, so this one doesn't have the doesn't have like a lip in there that feels the same. So we're going to swap it. Cost extra, more work. Only thing is I don't get paid for that. Yeah, maybe. That one has a hole in it now. There's two holes in it. It's not coming out. Here's to be glued in. Using a shooter to beat it out. So. That got it. That did not want to come out. It's in there pretty good. So you can see I didn't have the lip in there. So this one here has the lip right here. Outer lip. Oh, get down lower. Camera's too high. Too low, I mean. So see the outer lip right there? See how this one here does not have that. So that's the different. Look the same other than that. This one's no longer any good. So we'll go ahead and put the new one in. So we'll just press it in with a press over there and the press. We'll have it in. We'll have it in there. See it just goes in a hole right here, so. Just get the right tools. Seal installed. So, here's the seal. 
But now, let's put the cam in there and see what it looks like. One cam. See how it gets tight about this far out, sir. And it goes all the way around the whole cam load pretty good. Almost holds the way the cam up, but not quite. All right, so there's your upgraded seal. All right, so one more part ready to go together. So one thing I didn't notice yet was the breather valve. I have not seen the washer that goes on the breather valve here yet. Cam's making noise. So there's a thrust washer supposed to be on here. I have not seen it. Supposed to be right here. I bet you they lost it. Because you can see the mark here on the cam cover. See this mark right here? It looks just like this little stub right here wearing on it right there. The only thing is it's never supposed to hit on that. There's supposed to be a thrust washer here that keeps you from doing this. So if someone lost that thrust washer and never put it back on the bike. So that means I gotta go find me a thrust washer. Then we got to set the in play for it too. So that's a missing part. So when people take stuff apart and know how to put it back together, they wind up with extra parts. Okay, so. Now this is ready to go together now. Backed it up a little bit. So we need all the parts laying here to use. Okay, we're gonna use these screws here. See how much length we have sticking out. We have these two we weren't sure about over here. See how they stick out the same amount? Yeah, about five eighths of an inch on both of these. So these are the correct screws. So a quick double check to make sure you have the right hardware. <coughs> it always helps to make sure you have the right stuff. <coughs> Damn, I already got poked by that stainless cable. It didn't take long. Okay, there's our gaskets right here. So I snot these up a little bit right here. Use my gasket cinch. Looks like that. So I don't like to put a lot of suit on gaskets on oil pumps because they can cause problems. Try to just put it where the gasket goes, not where the gears go. Kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and snap the gasket itself. Gasket cinch is pretty thin, so it doesn't have a big build up to plug up holes and stuff. You can, if you have, I really try it, you can plug up a hole, but you really got to work at it. So make sure all your holes are open. You just take it laying on top of the block here where it belongs, tap it down to where it's supposed to be. that and it's now put where it belongs. I glue another gasket to the cover here. You can see where the gasket, I mean where the uh, oil pump gears are wearing so that's the area you want to miss. Preferably. So 
even layer goop all the way around. Okay, now you stick this to the gasket here to cover where it belongs. wants to stick wherever you drop it so be quick once it tacks off it doesn't like moving anymore Just tap with your finger to push it all the way against the other surface and you see everything lines up now it's nice now so it'll stay that way so let that dry over there out of our way anyway for now motor over a little bit. Okay, let's make sure our shaft goes through the case. Appears to be working good. Probably should have done that earlier, but I think I did. I don't remember. Okay, make sure your key, your snap ring's 180 from where the key goes. Kind of important. So then we take a little bit of oil, put it on top of where the key goes. Take one of your two keys that you're not using. And you drop it. There you go. Put in a whole slot right there. Take your gear. Thin one. Slide it on down with the key. Hmm. Supposed to slide right in. There it goes. When you get it right, it slides right in. All right, that one part's done. Okay, now we do the rest of the oil pump. So we've got to lubricate our seal. Put that on there. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more oil on this, like that. Shove it through the hole. Get a wiggle around to get, go through the seal. There it goes. Don't force it. Just put steady pressure on it. Push it all the way in like that. Make sure it rotates. Okay, like that. Good. Okay, put your keyway up here near the top so you can get the key in there. Put some more finger glue off. We got another key here. So we're going to put the key inside the groove there. So you just hold my pliers here a little bit. Just kind of lay it down inside of here. And if you have magnetic pliers, it pulls the key right out. That's why I don't have magnetic tools. Okay, the key looks like it's in there flat. What you want. You take some oil and put it inside the pump. Like that. That'll lubricate the gear when you shove it all the way in there. So you got two gears, one without a key, one with a key. And this is a tall gear. Okay, now you gotta kind of eyeball it and shove this in there. Try to feel as you go. Not feeling the keys pushing up, see. screwdriver run off too. Okay, you take your little small screwdriver, push it back in there. Try it again. So 
So I'm still not feeling it, but you take your screwdriver and hold the key down on the back side. You try to rotate it and find a sweet spot and shove it in. Okay, you're holding this side of the pump over here so you don't push the other one out. Kind of important. Okay, there it is. You feel it go pop. Once it did that, the key dropped down the back and it went in. Nope, it did not. The key popped out. Yep, key popped out. See right now it's upside down. Try it again. Yeah, this one's being a pain. Key flipped over again. This screw drive's a little bit too big to go in there behind the gear. This pump's probably got less clearance than a regular pump does. Let's try pushing from the top. It's in there that time, I think. There it goes. It has pressure on it. So I was able to put the screwdriver through the top of the gear tooth and shove it in the back side. Okay, that one would be a little bit of a pain. So the whole time you're holding this side with your finger, make sure you don't lose it. Okay, now we take the oil pump lube, take the short gear, stick that in there, wipe it off the gasket surface. Okay, that lubricates the pre of your gears, so when you start the bike up, you should have some oil pressure, hopefully. You can pack grease in there too, but I don't really like doing that. So you can go back and forth here, get lube in it. Okay, now, when you put this in here, you got to rotate this around so you can get the key in there. You have to be able to slide it in, so put it at 90 degrees so and get to it. Okay, we already got the gasket on there already. We need to pre-lube this here. Now most of this oil is going to slide off and go into the gear, but makes me feel good just doing it this way, right? So now you just shove this in there like this. Not all the way. When you see the shaft just coming through here, you stop. Scratch the workbench up a little bit. Let's see here. Let's block the video camera always helps out. So here's my 90 degree snap ring pliers. I shorten up to get to the key to put the groove in here. So you got a sharp side and dull side. Sharp side is the out. That's this one. Now it's very important that you do not overexpand this key or snap ring. Excuse me, not key. If you do, it'll spin on the shaft and it won't work. It'll come off. So you have to come back and replay with it if you do that. So I pre-arm it. Okay. So we got this little stub sticking out right here. I don't know if you can see what I'm gonna do here, but I'm gonna try to position it where you can get to it. And me too, I still gotta get in here too. So I'm gonna put this gear in here, I'm gonna drop it in. Looks like they had it in this direction before by the wear mark. I'm gonna make sure the key is up, the keyways are the same spot where it is on that. Get on there and slide it over. It goes. Okay, and before you put the gasket all the way over over here, go ahead and stick a bolt up in here to align it. Now, once you touch it, the gasket surface it might stick, so try to avoid that. Till the very end. So that's pretty much now, I guess. Okay, shove that through. A little bit too low. Rotate the keyway up a little bit so I get better access. So 
So I'm not going to be able to show you too much of this, but you can see right now we got the key in the gear and the keyway and the shaft are lined up. And you can see how the snap ring will go in there at some point. And you can pull this back and forth a little bit over here if you want, because I haven't stuck it yet. The trick is to get the key to go through the end of that shaft, which is going to be uh, interesting. So here's the brand new key. I'm going to use my snap ring uh, duck bell pliers here to hold it. If you hold it like that, you try to jam it in there sideways. First problem we got is we got no clearance. I'm going to go rotate it up a little, rotate it up slightly. And I can't go in straight, I have to match the angle to my hand. So you try to go in the shaft, then you rotate the gear until you feel it pop in on the gear. It sucks in here. I can't see anything. Can't see the keyway at all in the gear. That does not make it easier. Can't feel it either, so that's why I didn't stick the gas because I can pull it back out. See? All right, so I could not have see that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it. So I could not see that at all. This was enough room. So now I got a mark on there. I can see the mark. So I don't know if I rotated it on my out of position or what, but it wasn't where I could get to it. Okay, now we try it again. These things should be very temperamental and tight to go in, which makes it harder. Once again, there's no damn light here, but I am lined up though. It fill in their hole one to two so once it just fill in the spot it went right in so it's just laying in there you can see it just push it in see you can just push it right in no problem and getting lined up okay once you get where you want it to be then push this all the way over that shoves this into the gasket now you got room to put the clip on there hopefully I'm going to try to put the clip on. Now, a lot of times I will not spread enough to go over the whole clip. I'll go just a little bit. And I also like to rotate. And I just lost the clip because I'm trying to do three things at once while I'm filming. Yeah, clip went to the ground someplace. Yeah. The video camera slows everything down. I think you'd find it pretty quickly. Nice black floor, black clip. Where did it go? Eh, I don't know. Someplace. Every hand across the surface helps. I'm not seeing it. Alright, I'll be back.